G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Learn That Solo. Today someone actually requested Strength in Numbers by Times of Grace and I thought I'll learn that right now. So I did and here it is. Let's take a look. have a quick look at the tuning, it's just general drop D tuning, which is D, A, D, G, B, E. So get yourself in tune and we'll get started. Okay, so let's have a look at this tapping section. I want us to kind of think it's sort of similar to the tapping in one by Metallica, I guess. The emphasis of the tap will be kind of in triplets. So let's have a look at what the left hand is doing. I'm doing a hammer on on the third string from three to five, and then my right hand is tapping the seventh fret. So I'm doing the tap, pulling off to the pointer and then hammering that ring down. So it's going seven, three, five. And as I said before, I'm sort of doing a triplet emphasis here. So I'm doing a group of six, so I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six. Kind of keeping with that kind of triplet idea. So I'm doing that six taps, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I do uh, just a single triplet on each of these. I hit nine, and then I do that pull off the hammer on thing three times. And then I do the same thing from 10. So I've got a group of six on seven, and then three on nine, and then three on 10. Okay, then a pretty similar idea. I bring the left hand over to five and seven, and then I do six taps on nine, three taps on 10, and then three taps on 12. So from the start, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then after that, um, I bring my left hand over, to seven, 10, and then my taps on 14 of the third string. I do six straight here, and then I bring it over to 17 and then do six there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the first one was going 14, seven, 10, and the second one was going 17, seven, 10. Okay, so after that, we're working to this. Now, um, this is relatively simple and it's kind of similar to one, I guess it's sort of, even though we're not technically picking anything, for me it kind of feels like a delayed hammer-on idea. So I do the tap, so I'm doing the tap on 17 and then pulling off to the 12 and hammering to 14, and then I do the tap again and then pull off to the 12, so I go, then I hit it again and go to 10, so it's sort of like, that's kind of the idea I'm getting when I'm taking away the taps. It's kind of like a hammer on from 12 to 14 and then 12, 10. It's just that we've got that tap emphasis on 17. So it's going. And I do the same idea. So I do the tap from 17, hammer from 10 to 12, and then just play 10, nine with two taps in between. And then the last one goes. So it's a very similar idea. I'm doing nine to 10 is that hammer from the 17 tap and then I play 9-7 at the end of that. And at the end of it, I do a tap from 17 to seven and then just do sort of like a delayed slide to five. All right, let's try the whole thing from the start of the section. Okay, so the second section does a slight bend on 11 of the second string. And then I go to 10. And then I want to go 11, 10 as single notes. So, and I just roll that pointer finger to 10 of the third string. So I go. I just do exactly the same thing twice. You just keep in mind that there's a higher harmony going over the top of it. And then it goes. So what I'm doing here is 13 of the first string to 10 of the third, then 12 of the first, then back up to 10 of the third. And at the end of that, I've got a nice delicious bend on 13 of the second, then I bring it down and give it a slight vibrato. So I pick it at the bottom of that. So all together. Okay, and then at the end of that, I go to this. So what I've got is pretty much the same thing twice. I'm doing a bend on, 
I believe that to be 20. So I'm in the bend up and back and then pulling off to 18. And then I do it again. And then um, after I've done that twice, I just do a big bend on 20 to finish that. So I've got the bend up and down into the pull off twice in a row. And then just a big bend on 20. After I've held it on that third bend, I want to bring my pointer down to 18 of the first string while I'm sustaining that bend and I go. So I've hit 18 of the first string, then I bring the ring finger down just a tiny bit and then do that bend up and back very, very quickly from 20 of the second string, pull off to the 18 and then jump to 19 of the third. So to go. So that last little, well that whole little chunk together. One more time, sorry about that. And then we've just got this big shreddy right at the end. All right, let's slow this down. This shan't take too long. I'm gonna to start from 15 of the fifth string and I'm gonna go 15, 17, 19. Then I drop that down to the fourth string and do the same thing again, sort of go. And I wanna do that little shred on the fourth string twice. So it's gonna go 15, 17, 19 twice there. I'm kind of working with very obvious triplets. Okay, so after I've done that idea twice, I shuffle over to 17 and the fourth, and I play 17, 19, 20 twice. So we should have five little triplets here. Okay, so after I've done the two on 17, 19, 20 of the fourth, I jump down to the third string, and I play 17, 19, 21. Then I jump to 17 of the second string, so we will be doubling up on a couple of notes here. So 17, 19, 20 on the third, and then 17, 18, sorry, 17, 19, 21 on the third, and then 17, 18, 20 on the second string, and then 17, 18, 20 on the first, and then I bend that 20th fret. So we go. So that whole last little shred in slow motion. Let's try the whole section a little slower. And that's the strength in numbers solo. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. I'll catch you real soon.